Hi, hello. So what you're looking at here is the granddaddy of gacha games, and it's called Summoner's War. And in this game, you summon a lot, and I mean a lot of monsters. But it's also got so many things to offer. You can manage your cute Sky Island, you can go into many different fights, defeat many different bosses. But most importantly, this game is extremely polished. I actually talked about this game several times on my channel. And some time ago, the developers reached out to me, and they actually wanted to support my channel so I can talk about Summoner's War today, which is pretty cool and I appreciate it. Now, the major thing that's happening right now with Summoner's War is that there's a collaboration with Kukuran Kingdom. It's actually a game I've been playing for a while now, so I think right now playing Summoner's War with this collaboration happening is probably the best time to start playing the game. And you can use my link in the description, help support my channel, and download Summoner's War. But anyway, I've been playing Summoner's War for a while now, and here's what I've been up to. Now, First of all, the most important thing are the summons. You can obtain lots of different scrolls and use them at this location called Summonhenge. And you can basically pull anything from 1 to 5 star monster, and I've been saving up a lot of scrolls for this video, both from the collaboration and just normal scrolls, so we can have a little summoning session and see what we can get today. But before we get to the summons, let me just quickly show you the combat and a couple of other things. So the combat is actually pretty simple. Each monster has two or three abilities, sometimes they also have their leader abilities, and most of the progression happens in the world map where we can just go to one from 13 stages, and the combat itself is pretty fun. Like, you can come up with so many different teams. Uh, for example, there's like five elements and I built my motto water team because I just like the way they look. And I can easily use this team for like clearing the fire dungeon where the enemies will take a lot more damage from my water units. And it's actually been pretty good as well at clearing the story missions. But yeah, there's actually like a lot of different modes in the game. Uh, there's a labyrinth mode. You can go for the good old tower mode where you just keep climbing the floors and defeating different enemies. And there's also a PvP mode, which I think is really interesting because this game actually has a very cool community of people and the developers are constantly hosting the tournaments. Uh, you can check out like top players and what characters they're using. Like even as somebody who's not participating in these tournaments, you can still as a viewer go and vote for your favorite players and even get some extra rewards. So you know, on my channel I like to talk about meta and I think it's really cool that you can just check out top meta units or just check out how to build really good teams by observing other players in tournaments. And speaking about power, so there are a couple of ways to make your monster stronger. Uh, for example, this magic knight I have, you can actually awaken them in their superior form. So in this case, magic knight would become Lapis. And you can see some cool consequences like the skill Blade Surge becoming stronger and you can also increase basic stats. And then there's also the rune system, which by the way, this is Summoner's War we're talking about and they influence so many different gacha games, including Genshin, because this is basically the artifact system as you know it. But it's so much easier to build artifacts in this game and I've noticed that many characters have different builds, so I just like to mess around with runes and see how strong my monster becomes. But yeah, that's basically the game in a nutshell. Now, I said that Cookie Run Kingdom collab is a really good time to start, and it's because of a couple of reasons. So first of all, you'll be getting this jelly bean farm building for free, and it will passively generate jelly beans. So all you have to do is just tap on the building, get the jelly beans, and you're gonna be making so much progress in the game. Oh, and there's one more exclusive thing you can do in this collab event, where just like in Cookie Run Kingdom, you can put monsters in a balloon and send them on this like a small mission, which is basically just finding the right type of monsters to send on an expedition, and after a couple of hours, they'll come back with some nice rewards. But what can you do with the jelly beans? Well, there's two separate events happening right now. The first one is extremely good for beginners because you'll be getting the collab exclusive Ginger Brave and all you have to do is just keep playing the game and you will naturally unlock him. But the coolest thing about him is that he actually comes with his own set of runes, completely maxed out. So this character for a beginner is gonna be super powerful and will make the game so much easier. But you're still not spending the jelly beans. So this is why we have the second event where you can actually spend the jelly beans and use different cookies to advance the stages. So for for example, I'm on the first stage with Espresso Cookie and I can take a single step and get a single summon for 5 jelly beans. And I already have like 760 jelly beans collected. So I can easily complete the whole first stage with Espresso Cookie, claim a ton of scrolls and get even this cool building that's collab exclusive. So if you want to get all of these rewards in time, I really encourage you to just download the game right now and start collecting those jelly beans because I'm getting so many scrolls that I can use for summons, it's not even funny. And you know what? My channel is called Gotcha Gamer. I am the Gotcha gamer. And the problem of being a gacha gamer is that sometimes I have a very short attention span. So I want to build a new team of characters. And I think right now would be the best time to go on a summoning session because there's lots of different exclusive monsters you can obtain from the collaboration. 
Now you can look at the collab exclusive summon pool, and I have my eyes set on Espresso Cookie. There are several different elemental versions, each of them having unique skills, so I don't really care which one I get, but I want an Espresso Cookie. And hopefully, if I'm lucky enough, maybe I can also get pure vanilla cookie, because I love him in the main storyline of Cookie Rank Kingdom. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with the most basic summons, which are the Mystical Scrolls. You can still get the rarest monsters, and you can also obtain the collab exclusives. And my goal right now is to obtain as many collab exclusives as possible. And, and I'm gonna be doing 10 pulls, so let's just start with the first one. Alright, we're getting some generic monsters. Werewolf, Beast Hunter... Living armor. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna be skipping right now to the exciting animations because me just wording off the names of monsters is probably gonna be not that interesting. Okay, the last temple, we only got uh, some kind of a four star monster. <gasps> there we go. Espresso cookie. Yes. Well, look at this. I actually got an espresso cookie just as I wanted. Well, this is actually pretty cool. He has the ability to attack all enemies, which is really valuable in some places for this game. Okay, let's try to see if we can get lucky again. <gasps> a second one. A fil... F a a Archangel? <laughs> what? I just got a five-star character. What? I just got a five-star unit. Oh my god. Look at this. An Archangel. This literally screams like being a kid again with these graphics and the way he looks. I mean, I just got a 5-star. This is, like, super lucky. Even though he's not collab exclusive, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using him. Okay, this is awesome. We have 75 scrolls left. We got a collab exclusive, and we got a 5-star. What else can we get? And there we go! Another cookie! Madeline cookie. Awesome! I think this ability actually is kind of similar to the one in Cookie Rank Kingdom. So I think it's actually also kind of awesome that the ability is similar to Cookie Rank Kingdom. I mean, I've been doing like almost more than 100 summons, and you can see that there's like a massive variety of monsters in this game. 25 summons left, or in this case, two more 10 pulls. There we go, another 5 star Oracle. Awesome. Wait. What? Increases critical rate by 24% for all ally monsters? Jeez, that sounds awesome. Okay, so we're done with our mystical scrolls. In total, I think I got two Cookie Run Kingdom collab exclusives, two five stars, which is kind of amazing to be honest, and plenty of four star units. But now I also want to use my Cookie Run Kingdom scrolls. You can actually obtain one or maybe even more from just completing the events, and I have four of them right now, so I am guaranteed to summon a Cookie Run Kingdom collab exclusive. Anyway, let's just see how lucky we can get here. All right, let's go. The first of four summons. And we got an espresso cookie, but he looks a bit different. This is a fire version. Okay, this looks awesome, but let's just carry on. All right, three remaining summons. Let's go. What will we get? An espresso cookie, yet again. I think this is the air or wind version, which by the way, he also has different abilities here. Let's see if we can get something different here. <gasps> we got a hollyberry cookie, awesome. I mean, it's not pure vanilla cookie, but it's still a five star. I actually just wanna get this over with and just summon the last remaining cookie from the scroll I have here. Can we get a five star, a four star? It's yet again an espresso cookie. Okay, just give me a moment. I'll spend some time building my cookies and come back in a second. Okay, so I built my team with all the newest summons. And my new team right now has Ginger Brave, who I just obtained moments ago by just going to the event page and claiming him. And he's actually really good. Then there's also Espresso Cookie, Hollyberry Cookie, Madeline Cookie. And sometimes when there's a fifth slot, I'm using the Archangel I was gushing about previously. But yeah, this is my team right now. I'm actually super happy about it. There's also this one special mode, which is a Cookie Run Kingdom's event dungeon. And you You'll be going off against these really special monsters, which you can also find in Cookie Run Kingdom. And there's a total of 10 waves. Right now I'm working towards completing all 10 of them, because there's obviously gonna be some awesome rewards if I complete it. But to be honest, I think this team right now is pretty good. Obviously there's always room for improvement, but for now I'm super happy with the results. I actually think I got really lucky with the summons, so I'm really happy about it. But yeah, all of my units are putting in the work. I really like Espresso Cookie's AoE attack. Uh, Ginger Brave is really exciting to use because he 
provides 24% critical increase for the team. I've got two tanky units here, which is Madeline and Hollyberry Cookies. And Archangel is just doing his own stuff whenever he's used. But yeah, that's basically Summoner's War. It definitely lives up to its name. You're gonna be doing a lot of summoning. There's tons of really unique and exciting units you can collect. The graphics, for me personally, they're very nostalgic and I just enjoy looking at these units. But anyway, as I said, right now the collab is really good for new players. It's also super valuable if you're a returning player as well. So if you haven't done already, make sure to use my link in the description and download Summoner's War. I'm having fun right now, and if you use my link, you will also be supporting my channel. And to be honest, you should really give this game a try. As I said before, Summoner's War is really the OG of gacha games. And the amount of polish and community presence it has, it's really amazing to be honest. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, thank you for supporting my channel, and I'll see you next time.